Hello everyone, welcome back to part 2 of this replay between Gab and EG. It's a 2v2 match, so it's Grubby and Ciara versus Fiara and um, Thomas G. Right now, Thomas G getting um, keep, uh, what, Keeper of the Grove, um, Dryads, and Huntresses. Um, interesting uh, hero choices as Priestess of the Moon's True Shot Aura would be um, useful at this point. Yes, I know. True Shot Aura, not really that useful, but Demon Hunter... Um, Demon Hunter really didn't play that well in the early part of the game. Anyways, uh, right now we have Blade Master and Shadow Hunter um, from Fiara Ciara getting Blade Master and Shadow Hunter as well. Grubby getting Blade Master and Torrent Chieftain. So gonna go ahead and unpause this replay right now. We have some peons joining in, a lot of peons, and that Torrent Chieftain as those units are gonna be moving around qu more quickly across this map. Only a single spirit, no double spirit walkers at this point, and then we'll see if those spirit walkers are gonna start casting Spirit Link and then head off into that base. No, no Spirit Link yet, as Grubby is now pinging over to the south side trying to make sure that there is no expansions. As soon as they know that there's no economic uh, economic things that they have to deal with, they can once again re-engage right now. Ancient of War sitting in, in position, low hit point, um, Peon being moved back off to that north side spirit walk, spirit link on some of those, from those spirit walkers on some of those Peons right now. Blade Master going to get to level 3, level 3 on that Blade Master, level um, 2 on this Blade Master still, and and wow, trying to trying to keep track of everything. And here comes a fight over here. We have Teal. Uh, it's a two v one fight. There is the hill advantage, but I do not see any units really missing at this point. Um, Blade Master, uh, Torrent Chieftain, stomping here. I'll just let you guys watch this as there's just so much fighting right here, right here happening now. Dryads up on the hill, shooting back down. Shadow Hunter is going to oh not fall yet as it is low on hit points down to 106. Still trying to head back out, getting in snare. Going to start to get focused down. Is it going to be able to heal himself? A scroll of healing being used just to extend it just a little longer. Potion scroll of protection being used by the other side. Dispel being used in order to um, disenchant all of that um, scroll of protection right now continuing the fight keeper the grove gets to level two gets thorns or as this fight continues a lot of those grunts in the back are unable to engage as those drives are able to focus down a lot of those units cr are going to lose his um, blade master so blade master is, goes down uh, along with the blade master of um, grubby so grubby has also lost his blade master torrent chief announcing that level two almost level three and wow this fight is just going way too long and um, orc unable to scroll town portal out grubby now getting to level three as well, this fight for Thomas G up on this hill is just absolutely critical right now. Torrent Chieftain does not have enough for additional stomps right now. Spirit Link being casted. Kodo Beast giving that um, giving that aura and those drums right now. Blade Master now starting to focus down some of those peons. As this fight continues, those Dryads should start to focus down some of those Spirit Walkers and some of those other um, low hit point units right now. Dryads continuing to fight. Demon Hunter now sitting at level 2, almost level 3. Should go down to level 3 at this point now. There, or level 3 right now. Torrent Chieftain able to get healed back up once again, trying to re-engage. Torrent Chieftain now getting surrounded, so that's a really, really precarious position for uh, Grubby's Torrent Chieftain to be in. And now he is going to fall as well. So um, Grubby's Torrent Chieftain at level 3 does go down, and we're not going to have any Tavern Resurrections, unfortunately. So uh, Grubby has is currently resurrecting his Blade Master and will also need to resurrect his um, his other hero, Shadow Hunter, sitting at level three, getting ent entangled. So bl and now tr going to try to take down the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter is um, trying to run away from that Dryad. Dryad was getting entangled, and now we have another entanglement going off. Ciara may lose this Blade, the Shadow Hunter again, as he's trying to run in, going to try to buy a Scroll Town Portal. Yes, going to buy the Scroll Town Portal and use it just in time, at least burning an additional 350 gold off of that. Oh, we have a single um, um, raider being left behind over here, so that raider trying to hide to not be revealed right now. Blade Master has been resurrected, sitting at level 2. Good thing it was not at level 3, otherwise it would still be um, resurrecting right now. And now we have double scrolls of Town Portal on that Blade Master. So um, Grubby wanting to make sure that he does not get caught in that same mistake again right now. Um, uh oh, point of reference, yes, um, in circuit of nobilities do not increase how fast you walk. So if you look at it right now, that the movement speed is fast, it is not green, so that plus 2 agility does not um, help it. Um, thanks for some of those people who um, notified it, notified me. The circuit of nobility, I think, does increase, uh, improve attack speed, though, right now. Anyways, now trying to take down some of Thomas G's Ancient of Lores. Um, Thomas G, Ancient of Lore goes down. Level 3 on that Blade Master. Blade Master once again trying to re-engage. Blade Master now using that Squirrel Town Portal to get the heck out of Dodge. And that Blade Master, or that Grunt, is not going to go down. So, very, very nice, uh, n nice use right there. And we're going to have, are we just going to have constant harassment back and forth? 
So Raider is now going pushing into the base of Fihara. So Fihara now needs to and get back to his base after it was a 2v1 fight in the main base. So this is a very, very a good way of just splitting up armies at this point. Now the main base being take and um, be, being hit right there. Ciara is um, does not have um, does excuse me does not have pillage. I don't think. And now the Squirrel Town portal being used as Ciara just once again heads back out. Grubby on the other hand trying to creep out this particular um, natural expansion right there. Level three on that Blade Master Torn Chief and should be out in just a moment. Now uh, about another 20 seconds right now. Raider trying to head back out, unable to ensnare that um, that Raider as it is escaping. And perhaps the Blade Master and that Shadow Hunter will try to creep out this particular Red Creep camp right now. We have an expansion coming in from Thomas G. Thomas G getting that Tree of Life. Going to try to start entangling that. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 3. Demon Hunter sitting at level 3. Staff of Preservation. A lot of Dryads. Dryads are upgraded to 1 at this point. Is another Ancient of Lore being built? No. Only a single Ancient of Lore at this point. Thomas G sitting at 53 over 60 food. Now going to be trying to move in. Right now we have Grubby coming in trying to um, clear out these Rock Golems right here. Going to take the um, uh, take this down. But the Blade Master is going to be taking a lot of damage. And um, trying to uh, at least trying to push in right now. Troll Berserker is going to fall. Perhaps a potion. Oh, picks up a health stone. For, so a very nice item for that Blade Master. Blade Master healing a little bit more quickly and going to be able to use that as a 500 po point healing pot. And um, a, a Claws of Attack plus 6 being left behind. Um, I thought I saw Claws of Attack plus 6 being left behind. Not quite sure. Anyways, right now we have the in the main base of Grubby, Thomas, G, and, and Ciara now trying to, or Fiara now trying to come in. Going to try to take down this Voodoo Lounge. Voodoo Lounge going to be take down in just a second. Fiara also reaching that Spiked Barricade upgrade so that spiked barricades upgrade I'm seeing that stronghold and also upgrading um, upgrading to a f fortress no, or upgrading pillage, excuse me. Right now we have those raiders trying to come in and trying to take, just trying to supply lock Grubby. Grubby's sitting at 54 or 58 um, food right now as he's going to try to get that last hit on that Orc Burrow. No, not going to get that last hit on that Orc Burrow. We have a bunch of Dryads who are now um, pretty much surrounded at this point. Not looking good. We have a Demolisher trying to deal damage to those Dryads. Dryads taking taking damage. This is pretty much two separate 1v1 fights happening very close to each other. Ciara's um, Shadow Hunter goes down along with another Dryad that goes splat right now. More units coming in, and now we're trying to get, engage a 2v1 fight. Perhaps a nice um, healing wave coming in, and now the units are going to once again re-engage right over here. Demon Hunter getting taken down at level 3. Does have the Ankh of Regeneration, so coming back into play already. Using that Squirrel Town portal. Um, I thought I heard, oh, the Blade Master... Blade Master uh, Fiara also goes down, so Fiara pretty much down on all those units, and Fiara is in a lot of trouble right now. Fiara has that spiked barricades, and wow, Fiara sitting at 21 over 60, and when you take into account that um, five of that food is currently resurrecting a hero, um, his army is not right now sitting at about what 11 food right now with peons and that's pretty much it at this point um, things are not looking good for thomas g and i'll take this time to say stay tuned for part three and of this replay between thomas g fiara um, grubby and um, ciara here on lost temple